All right. Here is a guide through the black pits and through all of these annoying traps. Before you start anything, unchain everyone because your guys are absolute morons. They will run into the trap even if they see it instead of just avoiding it. Anyway, first let's see how to get to this corpse. This corpse is wearing black ring garb. There's nothing on this corpse. Simply put one thing over here and one thing put over here. It will not come back on. Loot it. You're safe. As for the path forward, use this section. Now move slowly because there's a trap somewhere over here, I think. At least my idiots stepped here for the first time when I went through. Careful now, that's a trap. There we go again. Unfucking believable. I don't know what hit her, I don't know where that bloody trap is, but either way. What you can do is slightly move barrel to that side and that way you will not trigger the trap. I can't be arsed recording again, so sorry about activating this necrofire. It shouldn't have been, but yeah, it is what it is. You can also use teleport whenever you want to get through this. Alright, first section done. Now we're gonna use this section. Try to get your character with the highest wits to go first. Move slowly. If you have low wits, just cast clear mind on someone. There's a trap over here as well. So, here's the... Here's the trap that constantly puts oil on the ground. With it, you can remove the oil and now move slowly forward again. Move this crate closer to the trap section. Another successful click. And one more. There you go, now we can go with everyone to this section because there will be a fight up ahead, you don't want to go in solo. After a fight with those voidlings, you will get to this section. Teleport one person across this chasm and then enter this area, there will be a statue where you need to use one source point. With it, you will gain this recipe. Armor of the Eternals. To get past this martyred monk you need to have Source Vampirism, which is a skill that you get from the Powerful Awakening questline in this region. When it ends you're going to get Source Vampirism. Now another issue is that its range is so short that by the time you get to him you will die from this guy, so there's no other way of doing it. Maybe if you have purging wand, which I don't have anymore, he will just kill one person. I tried teleporting quickly and doing whatever I could, but nothing worked really to get rid of the guy before he killed one of mine. Here is also a teleport statue. The statue as the when you proceed forward, you will see this chest down at the bottom. It's simple mechanic that you need to do. Use teleportation and teleport it right next to you. When you get to this point and fight the Magisters and Black Kings, 
and some weaponized monks you will also see this damaged oil pump to repair it you need to press levers in the correct order the correct order is yellow blue green the machine rattles then settles down into a steady mechanical and it's working and what it does it simply produces more oil barrels nothing more really you get nothing out of it you can put one barrel in combine and now you have an oil barrel to get to the next room simply blow everything to smithereens if you use these oil barrels, then that's why this machine could come in handy. But if not, do your thing. When you get to the last chamber, you will have a puzzle to solve. Use this thing over here. It will give you a couple of clues, as will the diary on the skeleton. Now I will give you the proper order. What I did during the fight, I've used all of my abilities to teleport to near the Eternal Aetira. Or you can use some kind of a tactical retreat, anything that could get you near her. Before the fight what would best is that you put your tankiest character at the bottom to deal with these eternal stalkers and maybe put 3 DPS up top. That way you will be able to control Aetira constantly. She's got lower physical armor so focus her down with physical attacks. While these guys have a lot of physical armor but almost none magic armor. So if you have wizard he will deal with these creatures easily. As you can see, their weakness are fire or earth. I mean, it's not weakness, but they take normal damage from that. So I will throw down this to entangle them. And now you can do whatever you want to them. You can just leave them be. Crowd controlling is always important. So if you can get it done, definitely do it. Obviously you need to turn the boss into a chicken, but it's blocked by... Oh, I fucked it up. I didn't see that she's got perseverance. My mistake there, but not a problem. If you are at least similar level to hers, it shouldn't be an issue. The more problematic things are the dogs. If you have domo protection, put it around her, around you and her. That way you will be able to regenerate your physical and magic armor. That dome of protection is absolutely insane, I love that skill. Knockdown arrows also work against her. Look how fast she is dropping. But then again I am level 16 with a lot of good items. Hey. 